Moon child, shine on the water. Moon child, rage on the sea. Hello everyone, this is Rosemary coming to you from Ansar Angels. This is your weekly squirt of angel juice. This week, the angel Abba Thur, the angel of the North Star, wants to speak. He would like everyone to do specific meditations using the celestial bodies in order to bring the celestial energy in. So when you inhale, you inhale from terrestrial fire, you inhale earth energy. When you exhale, you simply empty yourself and that allows the celestial energy to come in on the exhale. And that vivifies your center channel. The first thing you do, you know, when you're born, you inhale, of course, and the earth comes in. You have your earthly life. You exhale, last thing you do upon death, and the celestial energy comes in and fills you and brings you in into the celestial realm where you have your celestial life and, and you die to the earthly life. Right now you're dead to the celestial life, but you're alive to the earthly life. You simply go to a different realm, that's all. So what, what you might want to do to accentuate it is you might want to concentrate on uh, the Big Dipper and see it pouring milk from the stars, from the Milky Way, into your crown chakra, filling you again on the exhale so that it fills, fills up. Uh, it, when you, it, you have like vessels in your body, holy grails in your body. You have, of course, three main cauldrons, but you have seven, one in each chakra. When you inhale, they face this way, down. And you inhale earthly treasures like gold and, and uh, property and all earthly things, all the things you want of the earth. Flush your desires. Then when you exhale and empty yourself of your ego, and allow the North Star uh, to pour the Milky Way, utilizing the vessel of the Holy Grail, it'll, it'll be poured into your crown chakra and fill all your seven chakra vessels, and fill them until they're flowing over. Now, it depends on what you want to accomplish. And of course, you don't want to hyperventilate. But the, the longer you have an inhale, the more earthly attributes you'll attain. If your exhale is, is longer, then you'll have more heavenly attributes and store more things up for yourself in your next life, but you'll have less earthly attributes or you can balance it. So that's when you want to focus on your breathing. Is it equal? Is your exhale longer than your inhale? Is your inhale longer than your exhale? That kind of thing. If you have the big dipper, the little dipper, you know, you, you can just use these dippers and have Angel of the North Star, uh, pour the Milky Way celestial light and celestial milk into you. And again, you can just be sitting on the earth and receive healing that way. Now, if you're too focused on angels and, and, and stars, you may find yourself getting weak physically. So if, if you're feeling, uh, if, you're, if you're not at your best physically, you might want to focus on more earthly things, you know, just, you know, nature, whatever, and focus on maybe making your inhale slightly longer. Again, don't hyperventilate, but, you know, during your meditation, your breathing exercises, it's not that you have to inhale so much, but you can just inhale more slowly uh, because that matters. Also, uh, it, it, if you expand your lungs, uh, by putting your arms out, what happens is you open up your chest 
you're able to get more oxygen, more air. That's why conductors live a long time and are very healthy, because they're opening up the chest. So do that kind of thing, and uh, you'll find that your health will improve, and you'll, you'll have more energy. Okay, so these are uh, different forms of uh, Taoist, Taoist, Taoist exercises and meditations uh, working with uh, the uh, ancient alchemy of the body and uh, from uh, the eastern aspects. You know, the western aspects have similar meditations and similar uh, inner energy alchemies. However, the western books have been closed largely, where some of the eastern books are more open. Okay. Thank you for joining us. And join us again next week. This is Rosemary coming to you from Ansar Angels, and this is your weekly squirt of angel juice. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is just a quick reminder to let everyone know that we're going to be having our Healing Wings of Light seminar for both teaching you how to be clairvoyant and teaching you how to utilize the treatment slash transmissions so that you can look at becoming a practitioner, certified and ordained practitioner. Because we have levels, we have levels of apprentice, journeyman, master, and then master trainer. Uh, the sessions are going very, very well, and people have been um, getting money, finding money. They've been uh, having healings, and they've also been, uh, one person who was homeless found a job. And that person uh, found a job as a chef. So, you know, this has been a great success. We want to thank everyone uh, that was in the seminar on Kauai. My husband and I want to thank you all very much. It went very well. Okay. Uh, this month in September, we have a James, a Captain James Cook's Hidden Treasure Map Contest. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a first prize, second prize, third prize, and then some consolation prizes. So send in your emails. Send them in to readingsbyrosemary.com. It says rosemary at readingsbyrosemary.com. You can go there to, to find email. Just send it to us, and then we can send you the information. And thank you for you know, all the uh, support that you've been giving us. We really appreciate it. Okay. Moon child, shine on the water. Moon child, rage on the sea. Moon child, shine on the dark side. Enough time spent in tranquility. Moon child, shine on the rivers. Moon child, bring on the sea. Moon child, enough time remembering, enough time spent in serenity.